York University's scale model of the solar system spreads out over 6.4 miles of the old east coast main railway line. We're starting off at the sun, setting off we go underneath the A64. You often see lots of young people there with skateboards and BMX bikes. First planet in the solar system is Mercury. It's the smallest planet in the solar system and it's 36 million miles from the sun. Next along the cycle trail is Venus at 67.2 million miles. It's often mistaken for a star. We see it low in the southwest sky from sort of autumn onwards. It's completely covered in cloud, so it reflects a lot of the sun's light and it does very much look like a star. Next along the trail is our very own planet Earth. 93 million miles from the Sun and it also shows the scale of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Got to speed up a little bit now to get to Mars, it's a little bit further distance down the trail. Mars is the most explored planet in our solar system and evidence suggests that it once had liquid oceans and may have even supported simple life and it still has polar ice caps, although they're made of frozen carbon dioxide, not water. Speeding up again, we go through a little bit of a housing estate section, past the garden centre, where you can get cups of coffee and uh, buy some plants if you want. And then we slow down, and here we are, arriving at Jupiter. It's the biggest of the planets in our solar system, and of course there's a bit of interest at the moment because the Juno project has just arrived at Jupiter, and we'll be sending some... Uh, Highly detailed photos, hopefully, in the next few months. Back on the trail and to just going slightly to one side of the main tarmac path, this slight detour is a bit more bumpy, but it's quite picturesque. This is the old railway bridge over the River Ouse at Navan. They're looking west, some nice views of the marina and all the boats so looking to the east, it's heading towards York and just round the bend is the Bishop's Palace at Bishopthorpe. Back on the trail again, just a little bit further down the road is Saturn. The rings apparently are made of tiny crystals of ice and then not too far further on we've got a model of the cassini Huygens spacecraft also made by the same team. It was launched on October the 15th in 1997. It took seven years to get to Saturn to study the rings. After the cassini Huygens spacecraft we've got the cafe that's part of the old Nabon station when the railway line was active. If there's nobody there, there's an honesty box where you can put your money in for whatever you buy. And sometimes on a weekend, they do bacon sandwiches. They have a little uh, barbecue truck that arrives. Speeding up again, bit of a long trip now till we get to our next planet. The video has been speeded up 20 times to get to the next planet, which in real time would mean that I would have been cycling at around 240 miles an hour. planet Uranus which is actually on its side its south pole faces the sun which is a bit unusual as far as uh, the rest of the planets in the solar system go and this planet is 1,784,000,000 miles from the sun speeding back up to a virtual 240 miles an hour for this long section between Uranus and Neptune
planet at 2.7 billion miles from the sun is Neptune, named after the Greek god of the sea. Here we are now at the very last planet in the solar system, Pluto. And we have to actually cycle up a little bit of a hill to find Pluto. It's quite easy to miss it if you didn't realise that it's on the, the top of this little hill. There's just one more item left on the solar system trail, and that's the Voyager 1 space probe. Back in 1977, Voyagers 1 and 2 were launched, and in August 2012, Voyager 1 became the first man-made object to enter interstellar space. The model was built by Dave Coulthard, not the racing driver, but one of the scientists responsible for the solar system model. There's a little bit of history about this model. It uh, blew down, I think it was last year, 2015, in the very strong winds, it blew over. But fortunately, the model was saved and stored in Dave Coulthard's garage. The last couple of months have seen uh, Dave Coulthard and Peter Thompson digging a big hole and putting concrete and bricks and everything else in to make it stable and then the foot of this new post and on the 14th of July 2016 Voyager 1 returned to its spot just outside the solar system and when you actually look at the model close up the detail and skill that went into making this model has to be very much appreciated That's the end of the Solar System Cycle Trail. If you want more information, take a look at www.york.ac.uk forward slash solar. And there's more information about cycling and walking in the York area at www.yorkgreenways.org. And also a big thank you to Peter Huxford, one of the rangers of the Cycle Trail, for the help and information I got from him.